our love story. We we got married in. Uh, Nineteen fifty-four, September the eighteenth. <laughs> we had I had already picked him out because I had dated a few boys who went to the movie or something like that with them, but it wasn't the one I wanted. Me and my aunt was sitting down at the church house talking one day, and a cousin of ours and of mine and a, her boyfriend came over, and my cousin said, "Faye, I know the man you ought to meet," and I had already told my aunt what color hair, eyes, what he looked like. He had to be a broad shouldered, dark curly hair, and a handsome man, big, you know, husky bill. And uh, when Elmer started telling me about this man, we both said, that's him. And when I saw him, I knew, knew that was him. Well, we went out a few times, we went to the movie one night, and we just went riding around one night. Went up top, flat top and set top to walk. We took another couple with us. And uh, we uh, didn't see each other then for about three months. And he come back, he got his call to the Army. And he come back in, and uh, he said that I'm getting my, I got my call to the Army, and that I have to go back to uh, Maryland to get my papers and we was riding that evening and he said why don't we go get married I said oh my daddy would kill me <laughs> but we can go if you want to and so we took off and we went to Marion North Carolina stayed over there in the bus terminal with the other two men sitting there in our part of the town we went back to the car and sat down and went to sleep in the car and slept two or three hours went back in the bus terminal and sat till time till daylight till we could go eat breakfast the four of us went and eat breakfast. I don't know what they thought about this little old skinny girl out with three men. They thought was their business, but we waited until the the uh, justice of peace come in the office and went to the courthouse and went and got our uh, blood test. We had to wait on the blood test and go back, we went back and sat in the car a while and drove around a while and then went back and our blood test was okay so we could get married. And we went into a big old room with a bunch of books, I remember, <laughs> where, they, where we stood and them two men with our witnesses and then one of the clerks, one of the women and the clerk and a man was in there. Anyway, we, uh, Got married that day and uh, come back to over oh, here to of uh, Justice Peace married us. And we come back to tell mom and daddy, you know, hey, we got married. And uh, daddy, I, I think daddy would, he said, let me see your drive, your marriage license. And Ross pulled off his old, you know, army cap. The I can't remember that well, but I think that we went to over to Pigeon Roost to tell his mom and daddy. They were sitting on the porch of some neighbor down the road, and we went and told them that we got married. The night, well, one of them had a full house with their children, and they didn't have no bedrooms up there. So we go down to Jess Lewis's, and a man and woman that I had never met in my life, and Ross I've kept them all of my life. Ross, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ross did. It. We sat there, and bedtime came, and they said, "You're going to spend the night with us." And Ross said, "I guess we will." <laughs> we spent the night there with those people we never, I'd never met before. Go back, and uh, we got Elmer to bring us back over here. Then and stayed here this that night. I can't remember, but anyway, Ross had to leave again. You know, we had to leave Monday. Had to leave on Monday. We'll that, this Monday. was on Friday. On Monday, he had to leave, and he was gone for 21 months. 21 months. 20 months. That I didn't see him anymore, and got very few letters and no phone calls in that time. 21 months. 
how many dates did you go on before you went off and married him? Uh, three. <laughs> three, three times. Well, that was when we first met, and uh, Jean was dating Alvin Peterson at the time. That was my aunt, but dating Alvin Peterson. Ross and Alvin Peterson drove up down our road in front of the house and on a Saturday afternoon, right Sunday day. Alvin brought him over here and introduced me to him. And we got in a car, just the four of us, and rode down here to church house about a half a mile down on the daylight, day Sunday east, Saturday evening. And uh, I come back home and Mama had three apple tree switches about four foot long and she wore them out on me just about. Left big prints across my shoulders, my arms, my back. And I was I was crying and I wasn't hurting that bad, only just my heart was hurting. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Mama, you can you can beat me to death, but if I don't die, I'm that's the man I'm gonna marry. <laughs> So what's the secret? What's the trick to being married all these years? What's the trick? Yeah. The truth is when I reckon. Maybe you're made a happy, made a life a bit longer. <laughs> we love it all for our big family that we have. But what is created? Look what we created. We got five children. And ten grandchildren. And not eighteen great grandchildren. One on the blank. Big happy family. Take my hand, take my home. Bye.